good day. This is another in the series of Lenten Talk from Hoa's Memorial Methodist Cathedral, Yaba, and I am very Reverend Buiga Oyekong. The topic we are looking at today is Who are you when no one is looking? Who are you when no one is looking? And our text is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1 to 4. 2 Samuel chapter 11, from verse 1 to 4. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you, Lord, for the gift of another day. As you bless us every day, we pray that the word that you speak to us will continue to be the light that will guide our feet. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Today, on a very quiet Sunday morning, as I was going on my way to church, the traffic light was on and it was red. I stopped at the traffic light and as I waited for it to turn green, there was an SUV car with a very well-suited man at the wheels and he just drove through the red lights. He must have assured himself there was no traffic officer of the law around to accost him in his illegality. As I wondered why somebody was supposed to know should break the law, it brings to my mind what David did when Beersheba, in our reading today, did when he thought no one was looking or nobody was there to apprehend him. The question is, what do you do when no one is looking or could challenge you? Most of us put up appearances of being holy because we are afraid of the consequences of being found out or maybe of the punishment. But the true test of your character will be what will you do if you are absolutely sure you will not be found out. If David knew he would be found out as he was, he would have thought about his actions twice and cautioned himself. What about the pastors fiddling with the offerings or caught in fornication? We all forget that God is omnipresent and he is watching over us. If we are constantly aware that God is looking at our every action, most of us would lack the courage to commit the sin that so much besought us. If you think no one is looking, let faith assure us that God is looking and that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Let the fear of the omnipotent God keep us from sin today and we will walk the path that is the straight road. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we pray that you will remove from us a deceitful spirit. Give us the ability to do what is right at all times because your spirit will continue to direct us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This is another in the series of lengthened talk from Hoa's Memorial Methodist Cathedral, Yabak. Thank you.